okay, I want to have an honest conversation about being a Christian and dealing with anxiety. So first of all, I love your transparency and I love that um, you are documenting your uh, Christian journey. Um, I love the fact that you are on this journey and I, and I pray over you. I pray over your journey. I pray over your path um, that God continues to lead and guide you. Uh, with that being said, um, you know, I don't know anything about your spiritual walk. In fact, I, I found out that you were even a believer um, on this uh, platform. So yeah, bless. God bless you. Um, so uh, one of the things that um, I've been doing this uh, Christian thing for a long time, and I have learned um, a lot. And I, I've also feel as though um, a lot of the years that I have been in Christianity um, were null and void because I didn't have the tools I needed to be successful in my Christian walk. So I want to, I appreciate you making this post because I want to see if there's any, I want to try to give you uh, some pointers on navigating this narrow path that you have found yourself on. And the first thing I want to say is that um, when you uh, came to to Christ, when you came to be a believer, did you go through a uh, process of repentance and deliverance? Uh, deliverance doesn't necessarily have to be where, you know, you may have seen on the internet people falling out and, you know, their people are fighting, they're throwing holy water. It's, it seems very dramatic. Now, I'm not saying that's not true. I'm just saying that it doesn't always have to look like that. Um, uh, and, and when, before you got baptized, did you get baptized? And before you got baptized, did you repent of anything? Did you call anything out? Uh, because it is important that when we come and surrender to, uh, Yeshua, to Jesus Christ, that we call out something. What is it that, that you are, that I am sorry to a holy God that I have done to offend him. So I need to call it out because if I blanket it and say, Lord God, just forgive me of my sins, I haven't really purged anything out of me. And people don't understand how serious it is when it says our sins separate us from God. And it's different. there are different sins that have a deeper hold on us. So um, I don't want to overwhelm you with information that you may not be ready for, but I, I, I do want to ask, and these are personal questions. Please don't feel like you got to do a stitch. Um, this is just a personal question. Um, uh, did you call anything out? Lord God, um, I repent. I am so sorry that I'm just making something up that uh, 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 10 years ago, I stole $60 from my grandmother's purse. I am so sorry, and I, I I see the wrong in that, and I ask you to grant me repentance because I don't want that on my record. I want to be a purified vessel. So so, and as you do this walk, and then say a prayer of Lord, continue to search me, continue to guide me. I want to purge myself that all things that are not of you. Um, God will bring to your remembrance things that you may not even have thought of. And and those are the things that you must repent of. And then I want to ask you a personal, another personal question. Um, do you hear the voice of God yet? Have you, have you been able to hear him speaking to you? And, and it won't, and it doesn't necessarily have to be like me speaking to you right now, obviously, but sometimes it's just like every now it's like, uh, you may be, uh, going to the store and something will say, uh, won't you go in the other direction? And then you don't listen to that voice and you go, ah, oh, something told me not to go in that direction. Well, people don't know that when God speaks to us, if we aren't continually obedient to when we hear him, he's going to stop speaking to us in that way. So we almost have to reconnect with him because we're all born with it. We have to reconnect with him and, and say, Lord, I want to hear your voice clearly. I want to hear you speak to me, right? And one of the ways that that um that you can hear his voice right now is if you say, um, just you know, get to a you say you take walks, you go to someplace quiet, just say, um, uh, Lord God, is there anything and say this out loud. Lord God, is there anything that is separating me from you? And, and and just 
just wait to hear something. And if you don't hear anything, then do it again. Do it right now again. Lord, is there anything that is separating me from you? And then whatever it is that you hear, then immediately, the first time I did this, ironically, I heard social media. So then I would say something like, Lord, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that I was consuming uh, social media more than I was making social media an idol. Lord God, please forgive me. I repent of that. I ask you to forgive me, grant me repentance. Show me how to fully repent of this. I am so sorry that I have offended you and haven't given you the time that you deserve. And and so call out that thing and ask God to grant you repentance, right? And then I'm going to do one more thing with you. So God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of, of sound mind. And I'm going to slow that down just a little bit so you can see something. God has not given us a spirit of fear, which tells us that the, the fear has a spirit. See, we miss things like that, especially if you don't have the right leadership to kind of show you these things. So God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of sound mind. So when you feel anxiety, when you feel depression, when you feel like you're not of yourself and you get those tight pains in your chest, then you say this, uh, I rebuke, I come against the spirit of anxiety and say it out loud and mean it. Say it out loud and mean it. Anxiety, you have no place. You have no authority over me. I am a brought, I am a paid for, born again, uh, uh, blood baptized believer in Yeshua and Jesus Christ. And you have no more control over this vessel. I command you to leave in the mighty name of Jesus. And you mean it. And that spirit has to go because you have the authority now. You have the authority through Jesus Christ, through his spirit to command that filthy spirit to go in the mighty name of Jesus because you are God's vessel now. So you tell it what to do. And that's why uh, the demons fear Yeshua. That's why demons fear true Christians who know they are, that know who they are, because they know that they have full authority to do that. Because you, once you receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior, then you are, do you have the authority to even rebuke demons? And that's what they're afraid of. And that's why they're attacking you right now. Because believe it or not, that's the spiritual attack. And it's probably because you're getting closer to something. So most of the time when these attacks come, it's because you're, you, you mostly sometimes are getting ready for another breakthrough and the enemy is trying to stop you. So I want to make a recommendation to you um, because there's so much to unpack here. And, and so this is what I will say. Uh, Pastor Omar Tebow has a church that is coming to Dallas. There is an interest meeting on October the 3rd. Um, I have a flyer on my page somewhere. I just want you to check it out. I just want, you don't have to, you don't have to leave where you're at. You don't have to, I, I know you love your church. You know, I know things are probably going really well there. I just want you to check, check out that interest meeting. I want you to make time for that interest meeting and just say hello, go, you know, go meet the people that are there and, um, and pray about it and allow to the Holy Spirit to lead you, um, and who you, uh, study under as a new believer in Christ, or I don't know if you're new, but as a believer in Christ, I just, I want to recommend that to you. Yeah, bless, I, I, I ask that God send you shalom, send you peace. And have you ever anointed your home? Um, uh, just kind of go around your home, get some oil, some, you know, nice oil. If you have it, pray over the oil, Lord God, um, ask you to, uh, consecrate this oil and use it to go around your home and mark it, mark your doors and your windows and claim that house for Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Walk around it too, if you have to, we should.